got ourselves two groups available. We got Delio okay. Is it Del Deliok? Oh, I kind of like this like Death Knighty Paladin he's got going on. Wait, that looks wicked. That chess piece. Oh, it looks good. Griff got on that team. Still a menace. Rogue Koopa as assassination this time around. We got ourselves Droog as a shaman as well as a Sojiro returning as a Fury Warrior. Bon Samdi over for the team too. We got this is crazy. We got this a fast skill. Gonna be first up as a Demonology Soul Eater. Is that supposed to be? Or Soul Letter? Soul Eater? Gonna be on that team with a feral druid as master food joins in these deals again delhi of the bad going in for a trinket i guess to try to see if we can counteract the axe toss by the felger gonna be a full army of demons on him it's gonna be delhi potentially might be a bubble situation or maybe spell warden gonna be a port out of fast skills trying to deny the paladin as much as possible does hit him with a slow blind onto all these pets but it looks like it does break delhi still kind of a rough spot does go for the early bubble to try to make sure he's able to counter the damage is able to build up a little bit of resources why he's got the crusade wings on him while crusade wings do last a little bit longer they do come with a hefty two minute cooldown and it looks like they just fall off it does let you ramp up quite a bit of damage but they're not as up often as like normal wings which are a minute to eat. these are two minutes so this man is not really gonna have the most potential until about like what a minute 40 from now from this point gonna be deadly charging him with a stun onto fast skills dark pack immediately mortical sending him out in the other direction with a stun right after the man get the lockdown every single time does deadly have an answer final wreck got himself laying hands kind of out in the open no slow can stop for a second has a wall available as well so soul was ripped out of his body for just a second fast skills got himself last bit of mobility to get with a port stun from a distance does have himself all the pets onto deadly could go for a few potentially trying to see if he go for a handle done trying to see if he can maybe get a juke out does get a juke out potentially good the image out of fast skills taking quite a bit of damage looks like delhi's able to break past this warlock's defenses has a wall in case he needs to fear onto delhi got himself even more pets available demon dog is charging and stun but it's gonna be stunned back to delhi maybe in trouble i think it's over and fast skills just able to overpower him with that army of demons able to port away his drug trying to see if he can go for a bit of a root or uh yeah drug Try to see if we go for a bit of a root. It's up to every other show besides Druid. As a man trying to see if we can drop down the totems. Jab himself full stun sunder. As well as big Asetis. Is that a proc Asetis? No real Asetis. Does get feared out for just last second. Tyrant joining in. This is where Druid either needs to capitalize on the damage. Knocking back all of these demons. Trying to see if we can fight through this army. And Fasco's not doing that great on health. Asetis down for just a second. Does get his soul ripped out of his body for a moment. Burrow to follow. Knock up right after. Does have a port. Last second. Fasco's with no health whatsoever. Has himself all the demons surrounding Druid. But he just needs one more airlift blast and is able to capitalize with it taking down the warlock shutting him down after he's just versus a paladin soul letter is going to be up next trying to see if he can get himself all the same pets available does have a slightly different setup together with a fell lord that he can use offensively or defensively pushing in with that thing dropping down the obby and this is where Druk, i think he's going to back up for a second is playing the shaman build where he has some long cooldowns and short cooldowns he got ghost wolves he got himself bloodlust where you can just go one for big combos of damage and then you get some of the big ascendants in case you really want to go for a haymaker against the enemy target so he's got himself a mix of combos of abilities gonna be stunned around the corner able to get quite a bit of decent damage on the soul ladder though with ellie blast around the corner does have himself the earth elemental who's not only taunting some of the demons surrounding demons to himself which is taking pressure off of Druk, but also gives Druk quite a bit of extra health to work with. Going to be a big lockdown by Warlock. It's going to be a team of both last second, but no, oh, Mortal too. All get absorbed into grounding totem. Druk trying to see if he can find some cover. Root onto the entire demonic army. If he can control the demons as well as Soul Letter, he'll be in a fantastic spot. The man's out of any kind of health. Does have some ins following him around the corner. And as long as you can maybe get yourself some cooldowns back versus Soul, you may be okay. Trying to see if he can punch right through the shield. So let it get himself all the demons on the drug into a root right after. Trying to see if he can find himself some cover. Not really doing great on health. He's still gonna change, but the Felgard could be potentially like an axe also around the corner. That's gonna be a whirlwind. Trying to stun all of these pets, control them as best as possible. Stun for him back to back. Does have a trinket as well. Does he have any more defenses for ability? He does have a big wall. He does have guardian. He could potentially activate either one of these things just to get him some more health. Got him some ghost raptors into a full on knockdown. That's gonna be a mortal call. Running him out with a stun to fall. I think Soul Letter may just have a knockback last second. Trying to go for an interrupt. Sunder in order to get another interrupt. Needs one more big global. Does he have it here? Soul Letter trying to see if he can back up out of there. He has no health whatsoever. But he's barely alive just because this man is a warlock at heart. Oh my god. Like a lot of catches in dark back. Does he live? Oh, Ali Blast to finish him off, man. These warlocks, they won't go down. You gotta make sure to double tap him every single time. 
stun onto the shaman druid does have a big heal potentially could be pretty good here until master goes in for the big jaws of life just biting down on the man's neck nothing he can do about it at this point stun onto master immediately goes in for a barxian that's going to be a mad secret technique has to trick at wall maybe every defensive needs to be used here as griff got himself the most amount of damage in the open shadow blades activated even an evasion just to make sure that master can't even respond back to the guy big shadow strike to follow nothing he can really do about it master Fred might just be in an unwinnable position got himself the heart of the wild to give himself as much a better berry healing trying to see if he can play into the hybrid play style but there's just nothing he can do once you fall behind even a little bit against the rogue i think it's just over but the opening isn't even all that high it's only 28 percent but if he's got that wound poison on top of it then yeah definitely would do it slow totems down but it doesn't quite root him in places which is unfortunate it does go for the shadow strike on a healing totem to disrupt one side of his self healing literally trying to make sure this man has no way to recover knock back right after is it going to be secret technique when somebody does not have anything for this one trying to see if he can leap away from grifka grifka shadow step on right after mad eviscerates back to back i think may just have him getting a shot just locking him down nothing the man could do and crazy shammy last one left as yet another elemental shaman these Ellie Shamans having to fight the rogues, man. That may not be, oh my goodness. May not be the best for them whatsoever. Zap to Ellie. Stun the Ellie with a kidney. Cheap shot is crazy. He doesn't go for the knock. Gonna be able to reconnect. Secret technique right after. Crazy does get himself a proc of so uh, Sky Fury into a big damage potentially. Grifka with an evasion. Does he go for a cloak? Goes for a cloak very, very late. Crazy Shaman does activate himself. Random uh, uh, Ascendus. Try to see if he can go for a bit of a cast while moving. Potentially could still be an opportunity for Shaman to turn this around to Grifka. Does himself a big go into a knockback. Lava burst, big damage. Earthshock to follow. Grifka does dive into a restyle, but it's going to be Earthquake. He's walking over. He's still got dots on him. If Crazy can reconnect with the guy right now, maybe even Lasso, I think that would do it. But does still have a trinket technically. Grifka does try to see if he can get away into yet another root totem around the corner. Try to see if he can cut himself a restyle. The uh, fire elemental should be able to get Grifka back into combat. He's going to drop down a big meteor on the guy. Trick out of the cheap shot. Burrow. Oh, cheat death right after. Does Grifka have any outs whatsoever? Shadow melt last second into an earthquake. Does he get him? Oh, run. <laughs> First shock and taking him out. My God. Hold on. Crazy Shaman. Actually, maybe crazy. This man did take down a rogue. Lightning last on Sejur does get yet another knockback. Has himself plenty of mobility to reconnect with the enemy target. For crazy, if he can get himself yet another root onto Sejura, any slows would be ideal. Warriors don't really deal with roots all that easily. Especially as Fury Warrior last access and Dragonfly to Blade Storm, it just does not really give him a lot of options to break out of those roots whatsoever. Sejur trying to make sure to save those pummels at the very, very end when he knows that the enemy is going to finish out the full cast. Lightning Lasso right after into Root of Sejur, but it looks like it does end up burning away to all the flamey dots. It's going to be a Frost Shock onto the Warrior, does get rooted Fear onto Crazy Shaman. Looks like Crazy actually does have a pretty good go versus Sejur. Yet another Freeze Root into Stormbolt from a distance. This Lava Burst and Flame Shocks are chipping away the Warrior's health though. And Crazy still able to stabilize here at the 57% dampening. Earthquake around the corner, potentially maybe in another big setup with a lava burst it's going to be sejura i don't know how it's over a uh, shock to follow does he get the flame shock instead lava burst is going to be reflect last second does throw in more lava oh with yet another earth shock to bury the warrior with koopa last one left does koopa end up bringing it back for his team or does crazy still have some more fight in him it's going to be a garo by the rogue crazy may just have to wait until deathmark he could clear it off if he can just go in for a full uh dark round racial and there goes deathmark removed all the bleeds removed. Koopa has to restabilize everything back on him. He still has a lot of pressure on to Crazy. Don't get me wrong. Cloak of Shadows may be a situation here. Does go for the cloak as he gets Earthshock for big. Crazy got him so big, healing big damage as well. It's going to be Earthquake for just a second. Koopa does end up going for advantage. Crazy dropping in a bunch of Earthquakes on the ground. Since those do physical damage, they can get the rogue out in the open. Even past the Cloak of Shadows and even knock him down. But Crazy does get himself a bit of recovery. Garrote as an Earth Elemental is available. It's going to get a stun to Koopa. Forcing a trick out of the guy's stun onto Crazy. Does get hit with the blades before the death comes out. It's going to go for big and send its random proc. Big lava burst to follow. Does he have some good setup? Needs to get a rune to Koopa. More lava burst flying in. Gowan onto the Earth Elemental. Frost Shock. More lava burst. Earth Shock has to deal with the cheat death. Let's take him out. Burrow. Oh, no way. Oh, what a flashy knockup, dude. The Shaman. <laughs> Crazy Shaman popping up. What is this? Oh my goodness! Hey, dude, not only did he fight through Grifka, he fought through Koopa as well as Sejiro. A lot of these guys are not just regular Jane and Joes off the street. These are the regular boys in the rules, man. Let's go! That was so awesome! Dude, that Burrow. I think he's done a Burrow on Grifka and now he's done Burrow on Koopa. I think it's literally just like, okay, finish the strat. <laughs> when they got nothing left, I'm just gonna pop off on them.